Hey guys, it's Kate again. Um, it has been almost two weeks since I made an update. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've been just really busy. I do 12 hour shifts and in the meantime, <laughs> like in between, I am start sometimes cleaning houses and other times I'm just doing errands that I can't do when I'm doing the 12 hour shifts. I work from seven to seven and then I come home and spend a little time with my son because it sucks when I'm, um, when I'm working the whole day, I don't have much time with him because he's at daycare until four. Then my hubby picks him up, so it's his dad. And I spend a little time together and then I come home and I put him to sleep. Um, I think he's teething because it's been like mm, kind of weird when he's going to sleep. Normally he just goes to sleep really, really nicely. We hug and kiss and everything. Oh, and he just started kissing. It's so cute. <laughs> he's like kisses I go like, want to kiss and he goes like it's just so good so I feel like okay I'm not gonna start <laughs> talking too much about um because I can get carried away talking about my son I just he's precious to me of course um but I am 11 days no 11 weeks and um 11 weeks and two days I think pregnant today so I'm doing my nine and ten week update I think I think I did seven and eight last time. So I'm gonna start to doing this weekly. I was just really busy, so I couldn't. But a lot has been going on symptom-wise. Nausea was pretty, pretty bad. Um, I just, I didn't experience this when I was pregnant with Henry. Um, it, it was like mostly at work and it was like all day and it would come in sort of waves. I was throwing up a lot, like some, di some days it was like, I don't know, two times, sometimes it was like four times. Um, and then just uh, recently, I think about when I was sort of like 10 weeks or something, started going away a little bit and I was like, okay, it's subsiding. And then last weekend I was throwing up all day at work. So um, I've been kind of good the last two days, but I feel like, okay, so when I work, cause my work clothes, we have a uniform. They're starting to be really tight and I'm still waiting on getting my maternity my maternity clothes and the buttons on my pants have popped off and <laughs> when I breathe, so I only have a zipper up and when I breathe I can hear it going quick so it goes down again. So I just, I can't tuck my shirt in. I have to, because we wear like a white shirt, <laughs> I have to have it over so people don't see my underwear. Um, it's... I don't know is <laughs> but I think the part of uh, a part of it that I'm not just is because it's so tight so when I'm able to button the top but top button sorry um, I think it's because I was sick I think that's um, it's not pregnancy thing it, and it might be allergies I don't know um, yeah so my clothes are tight mm. <laughs> go figure um, so nausea is hopefully going away it's not as bad as it was and I found because I didn't crave any popsicles in the first like all of the weeks but someone bought um, like a party ice cream pack with popsicles and stuff and I work a 12-hour shift he bought 16 I ate nine in one day like and it was probably only like a base of six hours or something I ate nine they were laughing so hard and the next day because I finished them the next day I bought another pack and I ate six and then <laughs> I just I can't stop eating them but um they help I, I felt like the day before um I was throwing up a lot but I wasn't that nauseous but then the day after I didn't have the ice cream first and I felt really nauseous, but I wasn't throwing up. And then I got the popsicles and I felt better. And it was just, I think it's the cold, I, it just, it helped. Like when I, I thought um, a cup soup would help, I just felt terrible after that. Um, so I think I'm still um, sort of liking, you know, fresh stuff. I'm not that much into fruit anymore. I'm eating a little bit too much candy right now and my food aversions have gotten less bad like it was terrible at times but i have bought tofu again i haven't used it 
but it's sitting in my fridge waiting to be used. But we've been eating a lot more. I've been wanting like potatoes and like um, cook the potatoes and then put them in some like wok dishes or something. So that's been good. And um, weight gain. I'm going all over. I need to start writing these things down. Um, sorry. Um, weight gain. It's been kind of up and down. Last time I weighed, so like, I woke up one day and my belly was a lot bigger and I had gained a lot of weight. So I think I have gained about two to three kilos in the last 11 or 12 weeks. So two to three. But I think that's fine. I mean, I'm eating a lot more than I used to be. I wasn't that interested in food before I became pregnant. I wasn't eating, eating, I think, enough calories even for, you know, because I was losing weight then. And now I am eating everything. So, and I'm trying to be healthy. I am. And I am trying to tell myself, like, when the nausea goes away, I am trying to eat more healthy. And I'm trying to watch my portions and everything. Because I am going to be getting um some clothes for work and they are really expensive pants because i have to wear a specific kind of pants and i'm not going to be buying those twice so i have to like get a, a size that's like good for me now and then it just fits over the bump and the bump grows and i don't hopefully grow too much like on the rest of my body of course the everything grows a little bit but you know what i mean um like last time I gained so much weight and I just want up sizes and up sizes and up sizes um, and I don't want that to happen again. I just, uh, I want to feel comfortable in my body and I think that's really important. Um, now I'm at the stage where um, I just feel fat, like my belly just feels mushy and fat and um, of course it's not like tight really yet. But when I lie down, sometimes I can feel the uterus. It's not up where my belly button is yet, but it, sometimes I can feel, um, it's definitely firmer. And when I run, it feels really uncomfortable. And now the past few days, I'm starting to feel the, the peeing things getting worse. So I feel like it's pressing a little bit on my bladder. Um, the sleeping's gotten better. Um, it was terrible at times, like it was, I was waking up so much, I was so hungry all the time. That's gone away now, so I'm not, I'm really, I've gotten to the point where I'm not really hungry, but I'm really greedy. So I'm not hungry all the time, but sometimes I do feel kind of nauseous and then I feel like maybe I should eat something. I'm nibbling constantly, but I think that's just greed, <laughs> probably. Or like me getting, because I'm used to now eating so much all the time because of the nausea, I have to sort of go down and like start eating meals again. Because I'm not really eating that many meals because I'm nibbling all the day, all day. I'm eating like saltines all the day and like popsicles all day long. And it's just, I don't know, um, not that hungry still. Um, yeah, the dreams, still having some vivid dreams, but not as bad as the beginning. They were like, they were, sometimes they were just scary. So, um... I, I don't know, what else? If you guys have any questions, you can of course ask and I can answer them in some videos. Um, I think, okay, so we covered, we covered um, weight gain, food, symptoms, tiredness. I'm very tired still, very tired. Um, I'm not napping in the daytime as much, but that's because I'm working 12 hours a day. So, oh, sorry. Right now, I can hardly keep my eyes open. It's 10 o'clock at night, like my eyes are burning. I'm so tired and I have a light shining on me. <laughs> um, but I could just go to sleep at eight every night. I just, I wanna crawl into bed when I'm, when I'm getting my boy up to bed. Um, oh, a question. Those cribs, like the toddler cribs, can I lay in it? Like <laughs> yesterday he was like, I, th I think his teeth were hurting and I just wanted to crawl into his bed and just lay there with him. But I was afraid that I would break it because I don't know. It's just, 
I mean, there's not really that much room for me in there, but I could. But I just don't want to break his bed. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all for now. Um, I can show you my belly, but it's like huge now. It's huge. It's like I forgot to take um, a video, but I will post a picture and the thumbnail of my belly. But it is huge now, so I'll, I'll just show you anyway. But I've eaten a lot, so don't mind it. So this is my belly right now. From the front. And the side. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like... Yeah, and all oh, one thing. Can you see all the hairs? That's like a pregnancy thing for me. Um, I started noticing them again, and I remember when I was pregnant with my son, at one point I shaved my belly. I was so embarrassed about all the hair. I was like, why? I look like a monkey. But I shaved them. It didn't help. But now I won't shave them. <laughs> they did eventually fall off, but I think... I'm not sure if it was like in the pregnancy or if it was after birth. I I really don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm, my stomach's getting hairy. I think actually... I'm all getting kind of hairy. Um, maybe, but I'm I'm cold, so I have the chills. Oh, and one thing, um, I'm using my Doppler sometimes, and the heartbeat is still about one seventy five. So it's interesting. I mean, I'm, we're not gonna find the gen find out, find out the gender, but with Henry, he was always between one one forty three and one fifty five with the Doppler, um, and I thought like. First, when I found the heartbeat and it picked it up, like the, the the beats per minute, I thought it was gonna like slow down after the weeks went by. And I, I mean, it might still do that, but it's still 175. So I've heard that's like a girlish heartbeat, but I've also like, um, I also know a girl and her girl's heartbeat was 135. So it could all just be, you know, hit or miss, but it's still interesting. and. I'm really excited to find out, but I'm really excited not to find out until the birth. So, um, I'm having my 12-week ultrasound on the 19th, so in a week? No, tomorrow is a week, exactly. So that's exciting. Um, I haven't been as anxious like as I was with my son. Everything was like so new. The time is flying by right now, and I knew people said that it would with your second baby, but I didn't know how much it would. So, um, oh, my apps are telling me two different things. One is saying that baby's like a lime, and then one is saying baby's like a Brussels sprout. And at least in Iceland, there's a huge difference between a Brussels sprout and a lime. Um, a lime is a lot bigger than a Brussels sprout, at least twice the size. So, I don't know, I'm 11 weeks. I think it's still a Brussels sprout. We'll wait till next week to call it a lime. <laughs> but, yeah, um... One other thing that's weird, I'm feeling sometimes some flutters. Um, it's probably just gas, and I know what gas feels like, and I've been having, I've been really gassy, by the way. But, I don't know. It's just here and there. Um, so I think maybe I'll feel movement kind of early this time. Like, I don't think I felt it until like 18 weeks with my son, but we'll see. It might still just be, you know, me thinking it's something when it's just guess. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy to have you. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, I am going to try to post the weekly updates now every week. And I was thinking about doing some vlogs with my son on my days off. I think that would be fun. But I mean, he's been sick, then my hubby was sick, then I was sick. So it's just been all really all over the place. My hubby is finishing his finals. So yeah, um, in the summer we'll have much more time and you know, it will be more fun to vlog. And we're trying to find apartments right now to, to buy and it's just all kind of hectic. So um, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.